What is up guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at a Pennywise surprise. This is the brand new tweeter head it 2017 film statue or maquette. So there's an exclusive to this. Now the exclusive comes with uh, I believe interchangeable hands and it comes with a corpse of Richie. So I'll throw in some images of the exclusive. I didn't get the exclusive. Uh, Big Bad Toy Store doesn't have the exclusive, and that's where I got this from. Now, there still is a few available from Big Bad Toy Store. If you guys want to order this, you guys can use my link in the description down below. But so this is the standard version. Now, it does come with the coffin. So I'll show you the front of the coffin here. So this it's got the pegs here. This is what you're going to peg on to for the statue to, you know, to hold into place. But the wood on this actually looks really cool. Look at this. It does look really awesome, and you have these little uh, designs right there on the sides, but I love the way this looks. I think it's magnetized, too. I want to say it's magnetized. Now, the other side of this reveals, you can see it says, it says found. So it has an actual image of the actor who plays Richie, and you can say Richie Tozier, and it says 13 years old, and it's got the uh, 800 number on there. So that's really cool that they added this. Now this here is not fabric material. This is all you know part of the statue, and oh, this is actual piece of paper. So this is, it seems like it's coming off already. Okay, so I gotta be careful with that. And then you have the found written in what looks like it, you know, it's supposed to be blood. But so you have that, that's the uh, bottom part of this. And then we have the actual coffin. Now, like I said, this has got some weight to it, but the exclusive will have the, the exclusive will have the figure that you can put in here, but I'll show you the designs in the coffin. So you have this side here, you got the handles. Handles uh, don't move or anything, they're in place, but that looks awesome. And then you have the front part, Here's the side, and then here is this other side here, and then here is the bottom. So it says Pennywise one fifth scale maquette, sculpted by Jesse Sandifer, edition size 50 out of 775 pieces. So I got a pretty low number, and again, this is made by Tweeterhead. Tweeterhead does some really awesome uh, pieces. So there's that there. So we'll put this down. It's a shame though that you know. This piece here is covered. It would have been cool if you can, you know, display it like this, but you can't because Pennywise is, you can only display him on top of the coffin to hold him in place. So what we're going to do now is go piece by piece and we're going to put together Pennywise. So first off, let me go ahead and show you the, let's see, I'll show you part of the leg because you got to put the leg. It is a separate piece. So you can see you have his foot. You can see it is a little bit weathered. You got the pom pom there, which looks very cool. And then you have the peg that's going to peg into place. You have his head sculpt. This is it right here. And you can see he's got a little bit of drool coming down the lower lip. The eyes look awesome. The cracks on the forehead, which look great. Very accurate to the movie. You got some more cracks on the side of the face. The hair looks sculpted. The hair is sculpted pretty nice. I do like that. You have the peg that you're going to peg on to the body. But the sculpting on the head sculpt looks fantastic. I believe there's a video on YouTube where Andy Muschietti, the director, actually you know, had a hand in the making of this or at least approved the designs. But so there's that piece right there. You get the head sculpt and then he does come with two interchangeable hands. So you can have this one here. This is the uh, scene where he goes beep, beep, Richie. Beep, beep, Richie. So that's what this is here. You can display him like that or you can display him with a balloon. Now, this is not in the film. But you do have, you know, the option to change it out. You can see the hands a little bit dirty or the glove. And then you have the balloon right there as well. So we have that piece. And then we actually have, oh, he has another hand. This is going to be the hand that's onto the base. This is what's going to keep him holding on to right there. So there is a peg on the, or a peg hole on the bottom. So that's going to be in place to hold on to the part of the coffin. And then we also have his body. So he's kind of a large large figure for the most part let me move this back just a bit so you can see we do have the sculpting it's not it's not mixed media this is all statue so it is breakable you have the ruffles right there on top the peg where you peg the leg and the peg hole for the hands and then you have his other foot there with the pom-pom so he is in a crouched position again this is the scene where georgie or i'm sorry where richie goes into that clown room so we got that there so we'll put him in place we got to pop the hand in first so we'll put the hand right there and then we got to place the leg in so it's i mean the assembly on this is very 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 easy so we'll put the peg hole there on the bottom of the foot and then we'll match it with the hand i think it's in place there you go so it stays he's gonna stay in place once he's on here let me get the camera adjusted just a bit and then what we can do now is we'll put the head sculpt on 
there you go so that, look how great that looks and then so you can have them in this position here or this uh you can display them this way if you wanted to this is going to be just like that like in the scene from the film where he's like beep beep richie so let me zoom in just a bit so you have the option of displaying him like that so i mean that's pretty cool or you can do the balloons personally i don't know what i want i, I think i'm going to leave the balloon in for a while because i do like how that looks even though that doesn't happen in the film i still think it's awesome let me see if i can back up just a bit so you can see how that looks i think it looks great and let me go ahead and show you where i am going to display him so this detolf case here is where i'm going to be placing the pennywise figure or statue so he is on top right there and i think it looks awesome i got the balloon right in the background and with the detolf case and everything i think it just looks awesome standing on top of this so look at that i mean look at this guy he is just beautiful i love this and then you got the balloon you have the really awesome coffin it's just it's loaded with a lot of great detail i like the pose that he's in again you can either display him with you know this way or you can use the other hand to give him that that you know the beep beep richie just like in the scene from the film so it's really up to you on how you want to display him again there is an exclusive version i'm not too sure what i know he has the werewolf hand and there's a tentacle i don't know what the tentacle has to do with anything if you guys know let me know in the comments below what you know exactly that is supposed to you know represent because i i really don't know why they have that tentacle but look at this guy I mean, how can you not like this piece? The balloon is awesome. It is just another great addition to the Pennywise shrine, to the collection, alongside with this bad boy. He does have some weight to him, so you know you want to place him somewhere where it's not going to fall through. This is where he's going to be for now, and then eventually I'll find another spot for him, but I do like how he looks you know, in front of the of the balloon on top of the detoff case. So you guys in the comments below, let me know, is this statue a pickup? Is it a pass? And if you guys own them, let me know if you own this one or the exclusive. Thumbs up the video guys, subscribe if you're new to the channel. We are almost to 100K. Thank you for watching. We'll see you soon. Later guys.